guys, so I figured I would take you guys with me today. I'm just headed to the thrift store, see if I can pick up anything for the summer since none of my clothes fit me anymore. Uh, like I told you guys before, I have been on a diet to lose the baby weight. I, I think I've lost like six pounds and that's about it. Um, it's been really hard. I can't fit into any of my shorts, so that is why I'm headed to the store to see if I can find any type of summer clothing because I am going away. Like I told you guys, I'm going to Canada and then I am going to the Cape, which is like on the beach, um, coming up also. So I figured I would just take you guys with me and then we can chat about some stuff because I haven't done a car vlog in a little bit and I know sometimes um, people enjoy these. So I got my son in the back and he says, yeah, yeah. Recently things I have done, I went to the movies, I saw the new Jurassic World movie, I forget the name of it, and it was okay. It wasn't bad. It was just a little bit um, different from the other ones because it wasn't actually like showing them in that like habitat or like in the park or anything. It was more they were, I don't want to spoil it, but they were like in cages and stuff. So yeah, I don't know. It was pretty entertaining, I guess. It was nice to get out. And the other movie that I saw, we just watched last night at home on DVD, and that was The Quiet Place. And now I know that movie, a lot of people, I, I don't know, did like they reviews say that it was like the scariest movie of the year or the scariest movie in a while or something like that. I didn't think it was very scary. I guess it was more like of a, um, a thriller, I don't know, suspense or something, but I don't know. I, I didn't. I really didn't even think it was that great. It was just okay. You know, um, if you guys are familiar with the movie, it's no, um, no dialogue really. So it's like, hence being quiet, the quiet place. But I don't know, I thought some of it dragged. It was a little bit boring and my husband hated it. He was like, ugh. And I think that, oh, well, I'm just gonna spoil the movie for you guys. If you don't want to uh, hear about it, then you can fast forward. But there was a scene where two of the kids, uh, they end up in like a grain silo. It was filled with corn and they were sinking through it like it was quicksand. And my husband's like, I don't think that's possible. Like, I don't think that that would have just happened. It would just swallow them up. And I'm like, oh, really? I thought you thought it would. So he Googled it, and it's like, no, it's not possible. Um, unless, like, there's a different circumstance where there's a um, hole at the bottom. And, like, the corn is being sucked out. So then the kids would kind of, like, funnel down with it, I guess. But if it's, the corn is just sitting in there, he said, no, you wouldn't sink through it. I guess it would be kind of like a... A ball pit right like they have for when you were kids you really didn't like sink down and like drown in the thing so like that was one thing another thing was so the movie was about like these creatures that they they find people because of sound so and they kill you so when they hear sound they like come running to the place like they can't see and stuff like that so they had to all be quiet. They couldn't talk or make any noises or anything like that. And it was like, there's three, there was three of them. Like there's three creatures. And it didn't like say, were there three creatures in the area? Were there three creatures in the world? Because these people made like a sound and then within like minutes, the creatures were there. So it's like, you mean to tell me they could get to anybody anywhere in the world um, that quickly? I don't know, it was just weird. And, what else? There was something else we were like, what? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I think it was like they were indestructible. And my husband's like, please. He's like, you t you're telling me like the United States like army, military, whatever, like couldn't take them out, like use like a rocket launcher or something like that. So it was funny. I don't know. Like when he said that, I was like, yeah, you're right. So it was just like a lot of things were like, would that really have happened? Let me know if you guys saw the movie and what you thought of it. 
so right now in Massachusetts, it's been really hot. It's been like high, like mid to, I don't know, low to mid 90s, high 80s. And our air conditioning broke the other day. So that totally sucked. Um, we were without it like all weekend long. I think it broke on a Thursday. And then we were without it like Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because we couldn't get the part because the store that we needed to get it from was not open. So that was awful. Oh, it was so hot. A friend of mine came to our rescue and brought like one of those uh, AC units that you can put like in the window because ours is central air like throughout the whole house. So that helped a little bit, but it was still like so hot. All right, just got gas, $2.70 a gallon. I just spent like $43 on gas. Gas is crazy. Like it's so expensive. Oh, I hate it. I remember when I had my old car, like when I was a teenager, I could fill up my gas tank for like 10 bucks. Those days are gone. Other things that are going on, um, my son, will be a year old in about a month. So planning his one year birthday party, I cannot believe that he is almost a year old. I feel like I just had him. It is so crazy. He um, is just so big now. He can't walk yet. Like he can pull himself up and he like walks, like holding onto stuff. He can like walk along like the side. I just cut that car off. <laughs> Um, so he's good with that, but walking on his own, he cannot do yet. He has a bunch of teeth that have come in and one of his bottom um, teeth, he chipped it somehow. He must have bit into something and he has like a little chip in it. I feel so bad, but um, he has a dentist appointment to get that looked at. This is exciting, isn't it? I wish I had more exciting things to talk about. I just really don't. I've just been busy, really, really, really busy dog sitting. I have a dog at the house that's been there for about two weeks, and then I have him for one more week. And then um, in the meantime, I had another dog come too, staying at the same time. And then when this dog leaves, then we um, leave for vacation to go to Canada for about five days. I'm so excited about that. Uh, my friend like gave us a list of things to do and just last night she's like, oh, I almost forgot about this. There's this really cool shop there that sells a lot of like gothic type of like clothes and like furniture, accessories, I think she said, stuff like that. Um, and like a lot of like, what did she say? Like Lord of the Rings type stuff? I'm like, oh, that's totally, totally up my alley. And then after that, going down the Cape, down to Cape Cod, like I said, with my in-laws for a few nights at the Cape Codder, which is like a resort type place that has like a little like, its own little like water park area type of thing. We've been there before, but not when they had like the big water park, it's new. So I'm looking forward to going to do that. Um, it's funny, we used to go and we used to share a room with my in-laws because it was just cheaper that way. And like, we didn't really, I didn't really care. This is before we had the baby. And like the last, one of the last times we went, not the last time, but the time before that, it was like two two bears like hibernating. It was so loud with the snoring. I, I was like, oh my God, I cannot freaking sleep. So then the, the next time we were going away, they were like, oh, are we gonna share a room again? I'm like, no. I'm like, we need our own room. You, sh you snore too loud. It was like both of them. I was like, oh my God, get me out of here. I know another thing that I wanted to ask you guys. So we got a pretty good response, me and John for the video that we did um, we covered that the song by Depeche Mode if you haven't seen it go check it out so and I know a lot of people had said you guys should do more so I would like recommendations from you guys um, on songs to do 
So down in the comments below, just comment with a band and a song that you would like to hear, or just a band in general, and we can pick a song ourselves. Because we had fun doing it, and I enjoy playing music, and I just get lazy, and I don't do it as much as I would like to. So yeah, song suggestions. It can be anything. Any genre, music, whatever you want, as long as we know it, obviously. Oh my god, look at these. I can't believe they're not in my size. Maleficent slippers. So, because he's under five years old, you get a free book. What about this one? You want to get this book? <laughs> so, these shorts fit pretty good. A little bit loose. These ones actually fit a little bit better. They're a little bit lower than I like, but minus the belt. It comes with a belt, but the belt is kind of ugly. This is cute, but it's too big in the waist. I just thought it was a kind of cute design. And it's got like lace in the back. But yeah, it's too it's too loose, and especially like up here. Excuse me. Oh my god, remember this song? 90s stabbing westward, save yourself. I used to love them. They had like that one album that had like good songs on it. So I just got out of the thrift store. I showed you guys I think just like a couple pairs of shorts and that dress that did not fit. I ended up getting two of the, sh I tried four pairs of shorts on. I think he only showed you like two. I got two pairs of the shorts. They were like five bucks each. And I got two shirts, a pair of high heel shoes that I will probably not wear, but I was like, I have to have these because they were wicked comfortable for high heel shoes. Val got a free book. We ended up not getting that pumpkin bun. We got like a different one. It was some wizard one and it had like craft stuff in it. Like you could do different crafts, like make these different wizard things. Um, it was really cute. I'll show you guys. I mean, it's something you probably have to use when he gets older because he's too little now, but look at this. Isn't that cool? I'm stopped, so don't freak out. I'm at a red light. Um, and it has, like, it says, like, uh, wizard craft in which the apprentice finds spells, potions, fantastic tales, and 50 enchanting things to make. And I looked through it, and some of the stuff was cute. Like, things you could do with, like, your kid to make. So, that was nice for free. The other two, the other things that I got, I'm actually going to be doing a goth thrift haul, like goth on a budget type thing, because I did get some really cute things at a, um, a different thrift store like a week ago. So I'm just going to wash all this stuff and then I'll put a video together for that, so stay tuned for that. And now we're just on our way home. I think that's it for today, you guys. I kind of just wanted to take you along with me, just um, talk about a few things, like the movies I had seen and what's been, what, what I'll be doing this summer coming up, uh, vacation, planning Val's birthday party. If I didn't say what it was, it's gonna be a, a dinosaur themed birthday party. So if you have any cute ideas for me, please leave me a comment and let me know. I looked some up on Pinterest and I did see some cute things, so we'll give it a shot. Anyways, until next time, stay dark, my friends, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.